For this video, I want to focus on what it takes to update the project and the scene settings in order for it to work with the Ultimate Character Controller. In this video, I am using the Ultimate Character Controller, but if you're using a different controller variant, you can just follow along the same steps apply. So as soon as I get done installing the Ultimate Character Controller, this window will pop up that says the default button mappings or layers have not been added, then it asks if you want to go ahead and add them. I'm not going to do that right now because I want to show what will happen if you do not update the button mappings and layers, but I will be clicking this button shortly. These button mappings and layers, they are used by the demo scene, but you can change them at a later point in time and these specific set of button mappings and layers are just required by the demo scene. So I'm going to close this dialog because I will be reopening it in the future showing you how you can get back to it. But right now I'm going to go ahead and hit play so that we can see what errors we get. So you can see here that we aren't getting any errors. If I go ahead and select a zone, and this zone selection will spawn the character, and then we will start to get some errors. So I'm going to click the zone. And now if we look at the console, we can see that there are a bunch of button mapping errors. If I click on the character, the Atlas character, we can also see that the layer has not been updated. So let me go ahead and stop Unity. And now I'm going to go to Tools, Opsiv, Ultimate Character Controller, Main Manager, click on Setup, go back to the Project tab, and click Update Buttons and Layers. Now when I hit Play, and the character is spawned, you can see we're not getting any more errors anymore. So the button mappings and layers have been added. So that's what it takes in order to update the project. Let's go ahead and create a new scene now and see what we have to do there. So I'm not going to save those changes. And let's go ahead and go to this scene setup. Um, the first thing that I want to do is click Add Managers because that will add the Singleton Manager components. And since we're using the Ultimate Character Controller, I want to set up a both camera, which is first and third person perspective. We can see on the camera that a new component will be added and then also a new first person camera game object was created. If you're using the HD or universal render pipeline, this first person camera game object will not appear. Um, this is only for built in. So let's go, we added the camera. Now let's go ahead and add the UI and virtual controls just for a complete setup. The UI and the virtual controls are not required, but after I did that, that's all that's required in order to uh, set up the scene for a new character. In the next video, I'm going to go ahead and create that character.